All right. Hel- uh, Hello. All right. Hi. Hi. Aww. Welcome. We complete each other's <laughs> sandwiches, and welcome to the and official podcast. D- all right, cut all this out. Hell, where we talk about <laughs> E three. Uh, e E3. three. <laughs> you were supposed to say E. Th- Fuck no, no, just th- whatever. So we don't have sponsors Sandwiches. this week, which means I'm gonna just plug the shirt. The shirt is cool. You can get it in the description in the below the video and the link in the. Bis- Wait, no, other way around. The link in the description below the video. There we go. What's the shirt though? It's Charlie. What is the shirt again? I forgot. It's the official Skyrim in VR fan shirt. <laughs> you can now get Skyrim as a shirt and play the game by wearing it on your body. It looks like a burger that is really bored, but that's just DLC mods. You can also buy horse armor for the, your shirt, which will we will be selling later on. We're gonna Yay. have uh, we're gonna have creator camp or creator content or what the fuck was that Bethesda thing? Creator well, club for the shirt. Creator club. It's a club. Creator it's club, a club. It's for cool. the shirt where everyone can put their own stickers on it, and customize it however they want. <laughs> Using we will be creator club dollars. We'll be selling each sticker that our fans makes for twenty dollars each, and you can only put them on our shirts. How much? What's the revenue that split? Do we get like Apple. how much? How much of that twenty bucks do we get? We're going to get a 50-50 split, and then once the product 50/50. is released, we'll claim some bullshit licensing agreement to get 100%. Beautiful. No, what you do is you work those kids in the sweatshop to death, and then you just say, hey, instead of paying a fine, we'll just pay damages. And that's just a better deal for us. Exactly. Speaking of damages, let's talk about E3. Oh, boy. Oh, my favorite so, topic. So... How do we want to approach this? Do we want to just do a quick rundown conference by conference? So, do we want to... Yeah, okay, no, to start, Mortal every Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat had that character, uh, Shang Tsung, uh-huh. who would yeah. suck the soul out of you. This was every conference, basically, for us, because we watched it on Twitch. <laughs> In every conference, that motherfucker, David Sonderland, or whatever that bony, tall, lanky guy is called, he would go on stage and say, your Patrick, soul is oh, mine. Speaking, speaking of having your out soul of sucked out, he looks like a skeleton that was just robbed of his spirit. He's so fucking bony and hollow. He looks like he's mummified in between stages. <laughs> between they have to pry open his sarcophagus between concerts and prop him up on stilts. All right, Patrick, you're up. Get out there. Knock him dead. His bones rain dust on the floor as he walks to the stage. <laughs> That man can't just, even feign human emotions. <laughs> God, it was awful. He, no, he all the conference he, sucked. He goes up and he He's goes, like, I am- You look like a modern man Xerxes. <laughs> all, right, all right, then. Well, what, what, what was the best conference then? Probably Nintendo's. <laughs> it wasn't even really? a conference, yeah. though. Yeah. Well, but, okay, so who here likes uh, Metroid? Oh, come on, they just, they put the fucking logo on a black screen with the- Says the like, guy who comes in his pants anytime he opens a fortune cookie and the letters spell out S and W. <laughs> you go like, Star Wars, oh, oh, it's everywhere. I saw gameplay. <laughs> and it was bad. <laughs> yeah, no, it was it wasn't. awful. It was we really a bunch boring. of React channels and Let's Players play yeah. Star Wars for 20-some <laughs> minutes oh, and well, one of them yeah, crashed that, that, into that, the Jackson, tower. Jackson, EA's conference was a 30-minute Let's Play and you liked it. No, no, I, oh, no, 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 no. I hated <laughs> EA's conference. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> He's backpedaling now. I like Star Wars yeah, conference, yeah, yeah. though. Watch like, the full I like 180. Star Wars. Well, it's the same thing. If, if, if it was Battlefield, you love Battlefield 1. If it was a Battlefield 1 gameplay uh, video, uh, it, would, you, it would have been just as boring. You just fucking nailed me. If the 30 minutes was for, like, Battlefield <laughs> 5 or whatever, I would have absolutely been enthralled. <laughs> yeah, but it still would have been, like, objectively boring. Oh, yeah, for sure. For, no, I, 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 I get your love for Star Wars. It's fine. I, you got a lot of what you wanted, so I'm it's happy adorable. for you. Yay. Yeah, yeah it's like, like cute. Being objective, I think Battlefront 2 is a definitely right step for that series. They what what well, they showed off looks a lot better than the first. So let's start with yeah, this. Does, that. With how boring the conferences were, how many games do you even remember from each conference that were announced? Ooh, that's that's good. Yeah, that'd be remember, that'd be a nice quiz. I remember the, the last okay, night. Me, was that EA? So we're starting uh, with the Microsoft. No, no, no. Yes. Last, don't get ahead no. of yourself, Jackson. That's oh, a good okay. game. Yeah, yeah. There were no so good games at EA's EA, conference. EA was Alex Hunt, whatever, all those sports games. That was <laughs> Alex FIFA, Hunt Simulator. FIFA, NFL, mm. and uh, Need for Speed Payback. You know, Kaya, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have Star to drop Wars. the sports talk here because no one cares about sports. Let's talk about their only video game, um, A Way Out. 
Oh, that was EA, wasn't it? That was EA. That was literally their oh. only non-sports game, I think. Yeah, you're right. Uh, that yeah, did look super Squidward. intriguing. If yeah. you took all the Star Wars and sports out of EA, all they had was a way out. Well, let's, let's not get ahead true. of ourselves. Let's not take Star Wars out of there just yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, those linebackers could be still fun in Battlefront. But- <laughs> if you pre-order a way out now, you get the Alex Hunt DLC. <laughs> as, a, as, a third, as a third brother. <laughs> no. It's just a shoehorned in third character. That'd be great. He has a light football, lightsaber ball. He doesn't have any objectives or anything. He just awkwardly they're, follows the other two characters around. They're trying he just to just comes up. Member sports. They're they're trying to break out of prison. The guy's like, "All right, here's the plan. I'm gonna shift into the laundry room and get the spare key. Alex, you run to the end zone for a touchdown." <laughs> He's not a football player. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait. Well, then what the fuck is he? He's a oh, I thought he was the main character player. in Madden. He's a, he's a Star Wars no, trooper. No. Oh, well, no. fuck it. Run to the he's a race car driver. Yeah, no, I was just about everything. to say what, what Kaya said. That's basically the intro to the new Triple X movie with this the soccer <laughs> playing God, hero. So bad. <laughs> he's basically so bad. the embodiment of EA Sports. He just represents their sports games in general. He's it not a person. He's an idea. Yeah, he really needs to become general, the mascot. The lamest thing that could possibly exist <laughs> but all right so a way out looks super I, interesting I, i'm gonna say that that uh, that concept looks awesome i'd be does, super yeah. i'd if be it fully down to online, play that because we did not see online, it's apparently it only online. online i think it's yeah. only it, online no no no, no, no there, there, is, there is local but on, online play is also that's it's okay. got that split screen look uh, so okay. it's always yeah, it has to be screen. local too because they did show mm-hmm. local yeah that yeah. must have been local with the split screen I mean, the split screen is cool too, but it would just get really old if one of you always has to play on half of a, or even 25% of the screen. But online, that could be really cool. Mm-hmm. The problem is, does it have replayability? Like, if you buy that game three years it. later, are you going to have anyone to play it with? I can yeah. say that about a lot it. of games, though. Yeah. That's yeah. true, yeah. But and I, I mean, that that's specifically me. with the, a game that is specifically built to be two players. I mean, that upsets me, though, because, like, back back in olden times when online was there but not as prevalent as it is now, like, games would come out with good campaigns and they wouldn't give a shit about replayability or they'd jam a bunch of extra shit for it. It's like, it, I hate that yeah, it's a risk like in gaming now to make a single-player-focused game. God, yeah. I hate that, too. I hate all those Steam comments that go, but, yeah, but it's not replayable. Yeah, so don't replay it. Buy a new Doesn't game. Doesn't need cunt. to be replayable. Like, my, my, probable, something new. my probable game of the year for this year is probably the new Hitman, even though it came out last year. I only got There's, it earlier this month. Talk, <laughs> talk about replayable, okay. though. But it's, it's incredibly replayable, and it has, like, so many different submissions and ways to do missions and all that, but everyone doesn't bother with it, because since it's not the new popular thing to watch on Twitch, no one wants to play a single-player game. So talking about replayable, next conference, Skyrim. No, we didn't that, finish fellas? EA. <laughs> no, yeah, no we gotta finish EA. EA. No there, one there said anything. Out. What? There's no. no other game left. Need for there Speed Payback. Okay, we're acknowledging Need for Speed. Okay, I'm sorry. Didn't you yeah, right. didn't you like it when Jesse and James got together in the rocket car and they <laughs> blasted <laughs> off into the semi? No, what uh-huh. I loved about that game, my favorite thing about Never Speed was you drove on the highway and then watched a cutscene. And then you drove on the highway and watched a cutscene. Then you drove on the highway, you hit two cars and then watched a cutscene. And then you got in a new but, car so you could drive on the highway to That's watch exactly a what Uncharted is. You you go <laughs> to an open area, you kill some guys, you watch a cutscene. You go to well, an at open least area. Unch- at just- least Uncharted has a nice story. Okay, yeah, but anyway. You don't get to cheat if I don't get to cheat. Yeah, Uncharted was at Sony. <laughs> It, Andrew, well, it's isn't point. isn't a little fun though be, if you drive slightly by a car and it gets a whiff of your car's air and then like a little <laughs> bit of the paint flakes off and it explodes and flies off to Neptune. Well, I'm just I I'm just gonna cool. repeat what we that said was cool during, in Burnout Paradise. I'm just gonna briefly touch on what we said in the Twitch stream. the The initial gameplay of it looked really engaging. the The trailer mm-hmm. of the game, I was like, man, if you're doing most of the driving for this, that's cool. And then they showed the gameplay. And not only was the guy playing it a fucking mongoloid who didn't know what a controller was and <laughs> slammed into somehow two cars on an empty highway, but it, the, the gameplay looks so stale and awful and all the cutscenes kept interjecting. Uh, it was uh, disappointing. Well, I'm, ho- I'm hoping that's just the e- E3 presentation. Maybe it's just because it's so scripted and, you know, it's going to come oh, off God. as unorganic. Just wait until Anthem for me to 
go on about how I hate scripted shit. Was now. Anthem EA? No, that was Microsoft. No, okay. no, no. Never mind. Never mind. Mike, Thank God. Think, okay. Yeah. Well, Thank no, God. they showed a teaser at EA, didn't they? It's, yeah, they did, didn't yeah, they? They did. They did. They had yeah. something. Oh. Is, yeah. The gameplay was with Microsoft, but we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Charlie, you were going to say something about Need for Speed? Uh, a couple times, yeah. So I really liked <laughs> the the improved AI. That that AI looked really good. Mm. I I really they, enjoyed when we watched him play, and then he was talking about the AI. So he shifted <laughs> behind him, and there was just like some drunk drivers <laughs> crashing into the railing. They're actually using DeepMind. Deep yes, Google. They use NASA supercomputers to neurologically hook up the AI. I don't know what how a racing game could at this point improve AI. It's just called rubber band AI. That's what a racing game needs, and that's it. Oh, but what at else the same time, it's their greatest weakness because I hate rubber band AI. It, I I hate it too. I think it's really dumb, but uh, it's it's fucking cars going in a line, and you're meant to reach the end of the line faster than the other car. There's not really much you can do in terms of AI. It's not wait till you play the new Need race. for Speed. You'll see. Oh yeah, it'll revolutionize. It's so streamlined, innovative. It's so streamlined. You don't even have to play it. The enemies crash themselves. Innovative, <laughs> connecting, diverse, buzzword. Yeah. Uh, no, wait. The future. The future. The future. Engaging. But we'll 4K. get to that. Four K. Four K. Players really 4K, want. Four K. The future. By, the future. By players, we mean these single moms with their children. These soccer moms in our weird prequel ad. We're just what? a bunch of mothers with their children playing Need for Speed for some reason. <laughs> Did that happen? One of the conferences. I don't remember that. Yeah, you don't. I think it was Microsoft. Or Bethesda, I, I'm not sure, but one of them had this little pre-show reel where they had a bunch of women. Oh, that was families, uh, like Bethesda, old fuck families and their little kids going, "Yeah, we love video games." I'm pretty sure cool. that was Bethesda. Yeah, no, Beth- oh, Bethesda's intro was like their developers and their developers' kids talking yeah, about how much awful. they love games. Yeah, it, it was, was cringe oh, well, There you go. All well, same shit. Well, Beth- yeah, sure. Bethesda's whole conference was just utterly my four-year-old daughter terrible. loves Wolfenstein. Stein. <laughs> Right. Oh, I've she, I'm I've sorry the German in me came out. Whoopsie got me. I mean, it was the only good trailer in that whole fucking Bethesda mess. It was the only good game as well. Yeah. That's right, not so true. Be- they had Bethesda, another one. That was the second one. What one? I, I can't remember it, but at the time I thought it looked cool. <laughs> yeah, you failed the quiz. <laughs> no, he might. Yeah, well, so yeah, Bethesda. All right, let's whip out well, the cheat sheet. I'm going to Google games from their conference. You were, you were lobotomized by the five Skyrim ads they had. God. <laughs> Well, Just that's a different Skyrim. That whole aesthetic was so grating and tiring. It was Skyrim HD or something. Skyrim Switch. It was Skyrim Remastered. VR, Skyrim VR. on VR. Yeah, Skyrim, VR. Uh, Skyrim Legends. Let's not forget Skyrim Legends. And are Elder Scroll. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. Well, yeah Elder, Elder, Elder Scrolls, Scrolls Online. Online. Yeah, they had that there. And what was the other game they won't let die? Oh, yeah, Fallout. Fallout something. Fallout VR also. Yeah. So wait, are we? We're just moving on to Bethesda. I thought Microsoft well, well, was before the Bethesda. Uh we'll get that. We did Microsoft. We're still. We're still on EA. No, we didn't. We did EA. Oh yes. Oh, you're we right. We skipped Sorry. Microsoft. Well, yeah. Too late. Okay, let's do Microsoft. So seconds, let's do Microsoft. Right, so third. wrap up for. All right. Okay. Wait. Well, before it. we move on, all right, just to help everyone, give a final letter grade to EA. Yeah, I was. I was, I was Andrew, I was about to say that. Oh man, oh we're on God. the same way, like F. letter grade. F. I could not care less about any of the games. Not a single one. D plus. Complete. D. Failed. Failed class. I'm D. gonna say D minus, only not an F because of way out. Otherwise, F. Ah, you're right. Okay, wait, okay, fine. D minus. But, but yeah. actually. God, it's like a group assignment at school where one guy does all the work and like a way out that has done all the work for the whole conference. And I don't want to give the whole group a D minus just for that. So Kaya, still the way the way I'm seeing it is like it's they were taking an exam and there was a bonus question where they could fuck it up and it, like they you know, it's not worth any credit. So a way out could turn out to be a terrible game, but just for being an actual game and something different, they still get credit. <laughs> Yeah, I, I get okay. Extra credit. So D-minus, I give them a fine. D minus. I give them a D. All right, all right I agree. D plus. <laughs> I only I only give them a D because I always like when that that half asleep right. guy comes on stage, and I hate, oh. that averages out to. <laughs> and then he D. showed up again for Sony. I just yeah. I just really like <laughs> the, he even openly yeah, acknowledges. I forgot his name. It's a uh, Soldenheim or something. 
Patrick Something. Soderlund. It's Shang Song. Oh, that, oh, the lanky guy. Yeah, yeah I, I love that guy. Yeah. He even openly he, acknowledges no one wants to see him. Because I'm like the third. Yeah. Yeah, the third game is like, I know, ew, it's me again. <laughs> Christ, he must hate his job so much. Imagine him just talking to his wife or something on his phone before he goes on stage. Like, yeah, I have to talk to these fucking man babies again. Yeah, well, I mean, he lives oh. at the E3 conference convention yeah, he, center. He's not allowed outside the perimeters. Yeah, that's his tomb. <laughs> <laughs> he just gets resurrected. <laughs> He's buried he there real that. quick from the fucking Elder Scrolls. Uh, All right, so that was EA. Yeah. What were we on? Microsoft. Now? Microsoft. Yep. Let me. I don't remember. It was just yeah, a couple. Give, give me a hint. It was just a rapid fire of uninteresting games in 4K. Give me 4K well, me, and give me exclusive. Those were the buzzwords. Microsoft, uh, uh, Minecraft, oh, 4K Minecraft. Thank God I can now see those 16-bit pixel textures in 4K. Actually, let's start off at the start. The Xbox One X. Who gives a shit? Okay. All right, well, the, we've said all we need to say on the Xbox One X. Let's move on. No, no, hang on. Do, do you guys think that price is warrant, warranted no. at $500? No, $500. not at all. $500. You can it's, buy a gaming PC for that much these days. But Fuck is no. a gaming PC backwards compatible with all of the one game released on the Xbox One? No, but it's backwards compatible with every single game well, released on PC ever. Well, fair enough, though. Charlie has a point. Like, they, the them announcing the backwards compatibility is pretty cool of them. No, it is not. That's nice. I, That's a nice thing Name to do. three games Why? exclusive to the Xbox One. Halo, Halo 2, and, and uh, Jet Set Radio. I'm not talking about no, exclusivity, Jet, Jet I'm just Radio talking Future. about backwards compatibility. Just if you have an Xbox game from like 10 yeah. years ago, you can still play it. It's, only, it's I mean. only backwards compatible with Xbox One games from what I'm... No, it's not. I'm, no, it's not. They showed an Xbox, Xbox game. game. Yeah. No, Xbox game. Yeah. Xbox, yeah. Xbox, Xbox 360, original. Xbox yeah. One. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's just every yeah. Xbox game is playable on it. Uh, yeah, no, 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 not nice every, gesture. not every. Yeah, they as long said as it's select Xbox yeah, One as long titles. As it's supported. Yeah. yeah, no, they didn't say Xbox One titles. Oh my god! No, no, I mean the first the Xbox, Xbox, not Xbox One. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The, yeah. Okay. So they said that it's compatible for select <laughs> titles. Not every single okay. thing is backwards compatible. Okay, you're right. Oh, I see. Well, that blows yeah. that. Fuck that. Boo, boo. All right. Test the right, so let's. Le- well, no, 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 can I, can I finish this thought? I, I think it's, the price point is actually pretty good for 4K gaming. If they reach the 60 frames a second that they're targeting. That's pretty good. I mean, there's a, there's a light version too, right? For 300 bucks, the Xbox One S. Yeah. 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 S well, the, the S was announced so how many, earlier. How many kids do you guys think are going to be really angry at their grandmas this Christmas? Because they're going to fuck up and get the S instead of the X. How many grandmas are going to get an original Xbox going? It's the one Xbox for the first one. <laughs> <laughs> the one you Hunt wanted. Down. What's this? An X and then one and yes. It's a, it's a, Sonny, you'll never guess what. I found your Xbox for only $5 at a flea market. <laughs> it's the one, It's it, the first Xbox, right? That's what you wanted. It has that game you like beyond good and evil. You said it came oh, out this Oh, we'll year. get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> right, I don't remember anything else from Microsoft. It was just a flurry of... Oh uh, man, I'll step in here and uh, talk about my literal most favorite excited announcement: Dragon Ball Z Fighters, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, whatever it is, Dragon Fighter Ball That's Z. Microsoft? Uh, yeah, that was at Microsoft conference, and it looks fucking huh. great. Oh man, it looked okay. Actually, I looked it up. They did. I hate every cartoon anime game because they all, literally, all hundred percent of them have that shitty cell shaded style mm-hmm, where mm-hmm. they try to emulate cartoons. But that one actually seems to have come closer than all the rest. I mean, all I'm going to say, do that. made by the studio that does Guilty Gear and has the gameplay of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So I am I am absolutely fucking sold. Probably my favorite thing announced. Uh, of all, really. Hon- honestly, yeah, because no, that's the Even one I'm... Uh, that's Stein. the only game I'm actually excited to play out of everything that was announced. Yeah, everything else was just kind of like, oh, that's cool, I'll try it, or oh, I don't fucking care. But this is the one where I'm like, yes, I want to play this. (laughs) All right. Yeah. For me, sounds good. For me, from the Microsoft conference, it was last night. Ori and the Will of the Wisps and Anthem. Yeah. Oh, that was all Microsoft. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Then those. Well, hang on. Then Life is Strange also, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yes. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Christ. All right. Well, I'm excited for three of those. Well, I'm do, still, Kai, do, this I, is the perfect night. opportunity for you to get into your Life is Strange rant that you were going to get Yeah, into. yeah, with Andrew too. Hang on. Right. But last night, awesome looking game. I'm a little sad that the developer is getting a lot of shit for his opinions from like five years ago mm. from a bunch of losers on Twitter who are just jealous of the attention of fame he's getting now. So <laughs> shout out to whatever his name is. Tom Soret? Soray? Tom Soray. I don't know, but I cool think, guy. Yeah. Seems to be. But yeah, to jump guy. on the to jump on the last Amazing night bandwagon, game. we didn't see that much gameplay, so I was kind of holding out. But yeah, based no on gameplay, art style, I I definitely want to try that. I think that also looks really the interesting. The premise, the premise, the whole look of it, the f- it looks like a really f- cool indie game that I would love. Yeah, that uh, Orient the Willow Will. Yeah, fuck. Just Orient such the will a beautiful wisps. game. Wisps. Yeah. Just God, it looks so good already. That game has always. I, I mean, I didn't think I didn't trailer, think it could any get any looks amazing. any more beautiful than what it originally was. Honestly, so it just, yeah. honestly, there was a Something. very pleasant surprise because I didn't even know they were working on the new one. But very nice surprise. The story seems interesting. I guess we're going back to the owls mm-hmm. and then being wiped out. I don't know, but all in all, looks beautiful. Look- and it's not just a game that looks beautiful. It's a game that also has a lot of fun gameplay. It's a really cool platformer, I think. Yeah. Now, life is strange. A lot of people give me shit for loving that game. And I was really stoked for the prequel. Now, the prequel is different from the sequel that's also in the works. The prequel, this the one they're making now that's coming out, the Before the Storm prequel, it's not made by the guys who made the original game. They sold the the license to make a sequel. And I hate that when the companies do that, because my first experience with the company doing that was when the Amnesia developers, the uh, Frictional Games, mm-hmm. sold Amnesia to the Chinese room. The guys who made Dear Esther. Yeah. And they made a machine for pigs. And it was <laughs> nothing but a walking simulator. It was a terrible game that had horrible reviews. And since then I knew, okay, you don't sell your license to some indie developer. You don't sell it to the but goddamn Chinese. Life is Strange got fucked for the same reason Andrew's favorite game got fucked. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid, which is, Charlie, you, you have a stake in this too. You, you, you're just as upset at this bullshit as I am. The voice actor's guilt strike. So in oh, Life is Strange, I'm not upset about that I, at all. I'm just upset act- they haven't called me up to replace someone for free. <laughs> and I mean, you and me, we're both upset that these people are such pampered little babies, though. Oh, well, yeah. I the, mean, the strikes. making hundreds of thousands, but acting like they still deserve fucking more. But point is, the first game, it didn't have like Oscar tier dialogue, obviously, but it was still fun to listen to. And if you get that emotionally involved in a game, you start associating a certain voice with a certain character. Well, that lady who who did one of the main characters in the original game, she could not come back to do the voice because of the bullshit voice actor uh, strike. And the strike, for those of you who might not be, who might not have heard about it, is because voice actors in the gaming community want more money. Well, no, that's that's not entirely. Conditions. They want better working conditions. Yeah, I mean both. I mean it's it's about fucking money. What else would it be? They're not there because they need more toilet breaks. No, it's because it's money. vocally straining. They, they get locked in there for like 14 hours to record for 14 yeah, hours straight. and they want more money. But as a result <laughs> now, the, the new prequel, they showed some gameplay and the voice acting is abysmal. Mm. It's legitimately terrible. And Andrew, you told me about how you had to get over that. So to any to summation yeah. here, to any uh, video game companies watching this episode, I will do the voice acting for free. I don't care what <laughs> conditions you give me. You can pee in my mouth for some of it if you like. Just <laughs> call me up. Too. I will do it also for free because I could not do it any worse than whoever the people are that you picked. I could do a better Chloe Price than the lady you picked I'll- with my <laughs> Turkish Terry guy voice. <laughs> I'm more of a dainty lady than that. I'll do it if the working conditions are all right. <laughs> Jackson's on strike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not standing for this. Jackson's counting his money problem. that he got slipped by the union. I need a raise The first. goddamn union. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Charlie, the, you know, the sad thing is if you and me or any of us were professional voice actors, they would fucking cut us and lambaste us and just uh, completely excommunicate us if we crossed the picket line like that and said yeah I'll, i vo- voice act and that's the whole point behind these all of these unions just striking right now and ruining games which i guess they got congratulations uh, i think they the, suck the joy out of people's games i can understand assholes. wanting a better condition but what i can't understand is just completely stopping 
because it's not too hard for someone to get into voice acting to get good at it. Like the people that are voice acting the new Life is Strange, they may not be good now, but if the established voice actors uh, keep striking, they're eventually going to get better training and these people are just going to replace them. So then they'll just be out of a job oh, well, entirely. It's kind of dumb. Definitely. But the problem is once they do get replaced, those new voice actors are just going to need a new union themselves. They'll go on strike. The problem is in these industries, the bigger the industry gets, you just cannot work as an individual anymore unless you really want to remain indie, which in the case of a voice actor will just always be more difficult than a game developed like a programmer. If I'm a programmer, I can make a game by myself. If I'm a voice actor, I can't. I depend on someone else picking me. And being part of a company is always going to make that easier or a union or whatever guild. Mm. And so they're never going to be replaced and they're getting what they want. Mm. I mean, they are actually ruining games. I do actually care about this fucking strike now. I am angry at them. I don't care the way that they wanted me to care. Yeah, Mm. I know. I know I'm usually the halcyon for a somber temper, but I'm angry at them for ruining one of my favorite games now. But... What was the other game? Uh, was that was that Microsoft? I don't know. What you're oh, about, yeah. well, no. Kai is hitting the money on the head. It seems the principal motivation behind the voice actor strike is they want royalties on the game's sales. That's pretty it's, unrealistic. It's always about yeah, money. No, that, that's it's always about money. Holy lord! Pro, the programmers don't get residual. No, what what good else would god. it be? Oh what else would it be? <laughs> That's like me saying I ate a hamburger at McDonald's or I helped do a McDonald's ad. I want royalties on every hamburger sold well, at McDonald's. It, 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 is, it is possible that they've put that on there as a bargaining chip so that they go, all right, we'll take that off as long as we get the working conditions. I'm going that's, to be that's honest, true. most voice acting, 90% of voice acting in every video game till this day is not even that good. Yeah, we have reached amazing graphics, but we're still not at like Hollywood levels of acting. I, I it's so br- dog shit acting. I want to bring up Metal Gear Solid for this and then back out of the argument. <laughs> Please do. Well, no, Metal Gear Solid was like when it, in its time it was supposed to be Hollywood levels of stuff. It's not near that, but I I think that that series and a couple others have. I mean, like you like The Last of Us, and I think that game has really, really, really get a damn good. Oh voice yeah, acting. that did. Also, yeah, uh, to plug, I don't know, a personal favorite, Until Dawn, that game actually Ooh, that has great. fucking, that game has swayed me with its voice acting and characters. I don't know who the people in it are. I don't think any of them are big names, but I yeah, think the are. acting in that game is fan-fucking-tastic. It was all Troy Baker, actually. Well, <laughs> 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 but, uh, Charlie, do you remember the scene until, I remember the moment I went, wow, this game is actually damn good talent in it do you remember the scene where uh the tough guy who wears the tank top i forgot his name but he's looking for his girlfriend in the abandoned warehouse and he's like calling around and he gets his fingers caught in a bear trap Mm, it's been a a while since i played i was just gonna say like the main antagonist guy he's a big actor actually oh oh yeah him he he's in a lot of stuff but uh there's a scene, it's slight spoilers, but it's like a third into the game, it's not that big, but the dude gets his hand caught in a bear trap, and you can choose to either, like, try to pry open the bear trap or cut your fingers off with a machete, and if you cut your fingers off, he finds out the door he was trying to open needs a key card, and the way he delivers his line is just like, no, you mean I gotta get a fucking key card? And, I don't know, just in context, it was such, like, a emotional, actually funny, good read, as opposed to... 98% of other horror games where I've heard where they would deliver that line in the most cheesy and the shitty Wooden. ass way, but he delivers it like he's actually in pain and suffering and fed up. And it, I don't know the, the game. I, I, it clicked with me. I think that game's got amazing acting and I think it shows we're, we're getting there. We're getting yeah. games that have a lot I think, of good. I think modern value. games have great voice acting for the most part. I mean, now they won't anymore, but really? they did for a little bit. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, even Hollywood really doesn't, but I'm, there's just sometimes there's really, really good smaller movies where it stands out the acting and the voice acting. That's just amazing. Mm-hmm. But I've never really felt that way about any game. I mean, maybe some every once in a while, like, yeah, I agree with Andrew that The Last of Us had really good acting. Yeah. That sort of shit. I think it depends but, on, the, of- on the, uh, not motivation, but the, the, the fucking precedent behind the game. Like, you go for The Last of Us, it wants to be like a engaging story experience or until dawn or any of those but then there's other games where the the story and characters are just there to move the plot essentially just so they can bring you from you know scene to scene room to room yeah 
But I, I, I see your point in some things. The voice so. acting is not really the point. But enough of good games. Uh, Bethesda. <laughs> they, they weren't, they weren't <laughs> well, next. They wait, weren't wait, next. let's... Look. Let's, well, let's, if we move to Bethesda, we won't have any games to talk about. So we, we did we, Microsoft. Hey, 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 we gotta, we gotta, we gotta grade it. Oh yeah, we, we do have to grade oh, it. Oh yeah, so Microsoft, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still gonna give it a like C plus B minus. Yeah, I was gonna go C last, plus last night. I was gonna yeah. go yeah. last night and Ori. I was gonna go last C night and Ori. Beautiful. I just like their approach with just a collage of video games. It's just unfortunate that most of the games they showed were just so uninteresting and boring. And then capped yeah. off with like a forty minute let's play for a pirate game. Oh, but uh, I, don't even I, I just I just game. remember the absolute worst uh, presentation in that little Microsoft thing was the the Darwin project. I think it was called where they did the sports casting thing, where the guy showed up on stage. Oh, the shoutcaster <laughs> oh, yeah. during yeah, the yeah. mobile like yeah <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah that yeah. one. I can't wait to play uh, survival game 674-B because they're making fucking four of them this year, apparently. It was just such a bizarre fucking approach to that. <laughs> yeah, that was so weird. It came out of nowhere. Yeah. It was like this really boring mo- uh, or like a Overwatch MOBA type deal or something. Yeah. And he yeah. was like looking it's, for it's like, like Unicorn Overwatch. Thrasher 12 or something. It's basically Battleborn. But uh, I'd, I'd give him a C+. <gasps> oh! The conference itself was... Yeah, Charlie, you had something interesting. He, he just ahead. reminded me the colossal failure of Battleborn has gone free now. Yeah, which I mean, who's not surprised? <laughs> I can't. I'm, I, uh, I want to play it. Well, but yeah, I agree with you, cousin. I scene, I got to give I Microsoft. Would have go ahead, been guys. a B for me if if I had still left any hope for the Life of Strange. Well, that's not. Prequel, yeah, it's not really no, Microsoft's so. fault. <laughs> Well, no, I, I, but I'm grading the conference as in the games, like excitements, you know, overall. Yeah, 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 I get it. I mean, to me, it's, it's like if Microsoft, you have it in your conference, I'm going to grade it for you. To me, it was Microsoft so, was just really C-plus. like flat on a lot of stuff. Like there were some highlights like uh, I just like their night, approach. Dragon Ball. Yeah. yeah and there was just, a lot of downers like, I don't know, the shit. And, but not, nothing in it really was too egregiously awful and nothing and it was too incredibly stand out to me it was all just fine it was there i just, I, I, I don't get why they they went on about how it's a 4k machine it's the most powerful console ever and then they showed like the majority of it was just indie games <laughs> which aren't like graphically <laughs> demanding to say the least so yeah, I, I didn't just even think of that that's really funny it doesn't make sense yeah, to me I mean, the- <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah, actually, point three of them at least. I mean, Life, Life is Strange still looks like it uses the same engine as from five years ago. It probably does. Even. It's that the actually Telltale leads engine, me to right? A, <laughs> the, no, it's it's not actually. <laughs> cur- Jesus. Interestingly enough, it doesn't even have anything to do with the Telltale team or oh, the guys. Because I know Telltale even still the engine, uses their same engine, and it looks like shit now. I really no, need to upgrade, but they can't because like there's so many projects in the pipeline. Yeah, go on, Kyle. Yeah. The original used uh, Unreal Engine. I don't know what these this team uses. But that leads me to another question that I thought about. With all the new consoles, like the most powerful console in 4K gaming, at what point do you guys think the gaming industry is a, a, as a general is going to hit their point of diminishing returns? I think we're already because there. Because all of these games ha- must have these gigantic budgets. Because if you make an indie game, like Minecraft must take nothing to develop, right? You don't have to have guys create... 4k uh textures for every little gun you have to pay people whereas in a big game like anthem (laughs) hmm? you still have to pay the people working there though even if they're working on nothing you don't need as many people working on it no i'm just yeah yeah, yeah, i'm just saying that visually and in terms of production quality minecraft is now a triple a game but it doesn't really feel like one whereas if you have a game like anthem or the last of us 2 these big games they're now look the game sizes are representative of them, right? If you download a game on Steam now, it's like 50 gigabytes, whereas 10 years ago, it used to be five at most. A five gigabyte game would be considered, man, this is huge. Whereas now you download that in like one hour and you're, uh, well, that's a tiny game. It's 4K textures it and sound to files. so much that now I think they're cutting corners where I guess I kind of see the voice actors as points too, where I guess they're really not getting all that much maybe. I don't know. Maybe I don't know how much they're getting paid, but uh, look at Mass Effect Andromeda. I mean, they cut every corner and that looked graphically like dog shit. Well, I mean, I think we're already there. You oh, see, Charlie, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say, Skyrim's coming out for VR pretty soon. <laughs> and uh, that's yeah, something to look forward right. to. Yeah, don't worry. We heard that seven times. 
<laughs> but uh, I, Kaya, I think we've been there. I Literally. think this console generation marked the the end of like the or the beginning of the era where everything has to go big or go home. I, I think the last <laughs> generation, the 360 PS3, whatever, was the last great generation, and now we're in the whole movie cinematic big blockbuster game. It's super yeah, weird to hear swept. you say that. And what scares me yeah. is that. Game companies don't want to take risk. That's a scary part because anytime anyone asks themselves, well, I had a really favorite game when I was little. I wonder why it never got a sequel. It's because movie, uh, game companies never want to take that risk. And if they even take the risk, they limit the game developers and what they can do with the game. Like if your game gets a sequel, you're going to get a lot of restrictions of the whoever is funding whatever company is funding you on what you can do. You cannot take a whole lot of risks. Remember, so it's always going to be some cookie cutter shit. Remember when Microsoft took risk and then they, they got lambasted at uh, the, what was it, three E3s ago when they wanted always online Xbox and shit like that and then they had to backpedal super hard because they took Yeah, but now risks. they're making Super Xbox. Lucky's Tale, the best game of E3. Exactly. <laughs> I was going to say, it was on, always online Xbox. To Andrew's point, well, to always online yeah. Xbox was to play any game, you'd have to have internet connectivity. That That's what they well, wanted. Okay, well, that's not risk. I'm talking I know. about games. I, I didn't agree with that as a I, risk example. But that's, I want to know that's why Charlie's surprised. Well, because Xbox 360 and PS3, every game that went on there was basically from a big studio and a big publisher. I would say that died in like 2006 with the Xbox 360 and PS3. Before then, you would have all types of shovelware games and interesting games coming from all types of different companies. But the sep- the second it went to the 360 and the PS3, it was nothing but big publishers that and big game developers that were pushing out titles. I could actually, I could concede to that. I, I, I don't think that it's just them, but I do think that the shovelware and all that went down. There's no, and, there's um, no such thing as it anymore. Now it's just indie and it's thrown into the PS4, you know, back alley dumpster bin. I'm talking by shovelware. <laughs> I'm talking the shit you would see at Blockbuster like Chicken Shoot. Or or family party games. Oh, I'm, like I'm, ta- I'm not even talking about that. Of. Small. I'm talking about like for the PlayStation 2, the original Xbox. You'd have something like um, shit. What's a good example? Shinmu, if I remember correctly, that was by a small team, right? Shinmu was, was not a small game at all. It's sold no, amazingly. no small team, small team. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, okay, there, I, get, a, I get what you're yeah. saying now, but it's not shovelware. Shenmue is not shovelware at all. I know. I'm just saying when I say shovelware, I just mean like. No name you companies mean smaller, throwing something more out. Niche. Yeah. Well, that that's the thing I kind of wanted to bring up in my point. And I completely agree. The niche audience idea in gaming is completely dead. Totally now. If gone. If it's not indie, absolutely. If absolutely it's not an dead. indie game, it has to be mass appealing or it does that's not get point. made. That's my point. That's what makes yeah. me sad. Is because the bigger the budget, the less risk and they want to take. I, if I, if I give you hundred million dollars for a video game, I'm gonna tell you, listen, you cannot take a risk with this. You cannot make this for a niche audience. Yeah. What I want you to do. Well, that's why it's like movies now. Paint by the numbers, make it like a template, give him, make this a sci fi shooter, mecha shooter in a futuristic world. It's not like movies. I mean, well, here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's now like Hollywood. It's 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 the same property production as Hollywood, where, you know, you have to hit those target demographics. That's that's why they're going towards cinematic experiences and guided gameplay. Well, there's a big difference. Companies like the Avengers now. Yeah, but there's a big difference between Hollywood and here. With the movies, you'll still have other, you know, smaller titles bigger risk titles going into theaters like ex machina that wasn't from like a big studio or anything that mm-hmm. was a pretty niche appeal movie there's a whole bunch of those that still make it to theaters but for like consoles you don't have anything like that you don't have any you know smaller production teams that throw something on the the, the xbox one or the xbox one See, X. I, I disagree because I mean, you have a whole like games. xbox live indie Why market not? and a whole oh, ps3 yeah. store where you can download hundreds of those okay that's that's to- that, that's a big distinction between what I was saying in that the indie thing I'm I don't really consider it because with the original Xbox and PS2 you could find those at a store they would be like at a store here you'd have to go out of your way to like this this is low budget you need to go to this garbage pail to find these games and with Hollywood I mean, that, that happened with movies sometimes too though like you mm-hmm. have movies that would get limited no, no, no. runs or oh straight to DVD that's that's another huge example of that there's well, yeah. way tons of straight to DVD low budget shit that doesn't even go to theaters. Yeah, I know, but Most still, theaters still I, I play some with small... You, Charlie, I think the whole indie scene on the game consoles, even middle grade teams, it's been bigger and bl- more blooming than ever before. Oh, I'm not saying it's dying or anything. Industry. I'm just saying, like, every, you know, AAA title is not, like... Okay, well, I guess the point's kind of lost, but what I was I, trying to no, say I, is... No, I get, I get what you're saying. 
Yeah. I mean, if you're saying every title introduces just not that, then yeah, I agree. Okay. Well, there you yeah. go. That's exactly our point. That's, yeah, every AAA title these days it has to be that big time non indie shit where you cannot take a risk. And also and the. The counter argument a bit, and uh, actually, I mean, another side of it that goes with it is people don't want to pay more than $60 for a video game. And yeah, I, th- I think that, the- that if they actually people got over that and they were like, hey, we're going to make this, you know, really risk taking new thing, but it's going to cost, I don't know, like $80. And instead of releasing it in installments or s- releasing unfinished shit for 60 bucks, I think that would actually rejuvenate the scene on it yeah i actually that. agree because that's a good yeah, exactly point. That's part of the exact to, same points because the games are getting more expensive and elaborate yeah. and more exactly and blockbustery but games have like since but the they SNES always cost sixty dollars they've always cost sixty dollars yeah they've never then, raised sixty dollars was a lot more money it sounds a lot but yeah if you consider the amount of entertainment you get out of it you pay like 20 bucks at the very least if you go to the movie theater to see a two-hour movie and hate it but you can pay like 60 bucks for a game and get hundreds of hours. Back in the fucking SNES days and shit, a game was like $70. And that's that's in 1990s money. That's a lot more today than it, you know, back then. Or that Ooh. with inflation, that's a lot more money today. But today we get AAA titles and shit and they still cost $60, which is a lot less of a profit relatively for the studios. Yeah. And on so that, the thing is they don't want to do risks because they make you that, have to charge that price point. They make that profit back through the season passes and DLC. Exactly. And I would rather not have that. I'd rather have new risk taking games that come out finished and just cost a little bit more money. Well, yeah, I mean, in that regard, good chance. Just like yeah, exactly, but Jackson now you said, get just fucked two over anyway. Go, tr- you get the fucked. CEO of EA and go, yeah, well, you know, guys, I don't really want that profit. I'd rather have cool games. It's, and then you get fucked anyway because the game launches with the season pass, and you pay a hundred and thirty dollars for content you don't even get till later. Well, or you can buy the eight hundred dollar Assassin's Creed Collector's Edition <laughs> with a little statue well, you can look at and and, what, and wish to. that you bought something else. On that same token, Charlie, though, you I, yeah, yeah. On the same yeah. token, I wanted to say, well, you're paying sixty dollars for Skyrim in two thousand seven. You're paying sixty dollars for Skyrim in two thousand eight. You're paying sixty dollars for Skyrim in later two thousand eight. You're paying sixty dollars for mm-hmm. Skyrim in two thousand nine. You're paying sixty dollars for Skyrim in yep. two thousand and ten. In two thousand eleven, yeah. you're paying sixty dollars for Skyrim. <laughs> two thousand twelve, we're rolling back with sixty dollars for Skyrim. 2013, we pay $60 for Skyrim. 2014 is where it gets interesting. We pay $60 for Skyrim. 2015, we pay $60 for Skyrim. Yes, Charlie, but forgot this year you can play, pay $20 for the horse armor. It, it, no, actually, you know, there, it's Kaya. 35 for the, uh, for the amiibo that you can get the custom master sword with. Because <gasps> fuck Bethesda. Yeah, Link in Skyrim, I Charlie. want this on the podcast. I've only touched on it in streams and shit. Fuck Bethesda. They're the worst company in games. Fight me. They, they are the worst. There is nothing they do that is worth your time and money. Well, I, I and you didn't so let me. Much. I was going to get there with my timetable. You jumped ahead. You even skipped 2016. <laughs> Do you want to finish? it? What, what what happened in 2016? How much did Skyrim cost? Well, Skyrim didn't come out in 2016. <laughs> oh, they didn't re-release it that year because it's coming out eight different times this year. <laughs> Boom! They, they pushed it back till this one. Quality, yeah, quality so assurance. It, oh no! Wait, no, Charlie. Uh, what happened is they released Fallout Four in 2016, which was Fallout Three, but you know it cost sixty dollars. No, they released Elder Scrolls Legends. Oh, you're right. Did I'm you're sorry. Right. Did it cost sixty dollars? Probably. Who knows? Nah, it's got a subscription. It costs more than that. I don't know. Fuck them. Fuck <laughs> Bethesda. Tom Howard, if you're Honestly. listening, Tom Coward. I know that you won't come on this podcast <laughs> to defend yourself because you're so Tom? much of a pussy. But if your daughter's graduation is finished, please come on the podcast so I can insult <laughs> you and then hang up the call. Fuck you, Bethesda. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Can I ever review copy of uh, Skyrim? Cool. That'd be great. Well, we got well, that right, part. So of anyway, the Bethesda conference gets an F minus. There's nothing to talk about. <laughs> We, it was not all even, just DLC. We burned that bridge. Not even shooting Nazis. <laughs> uh, really? Oh my god. So, and so it doesn't, does it not even get a D minus? Let that? me sum. Let me sum up Bethesda's conference. DLC, 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 DLC. Skyrim, Skyrim, Fallout 4, Fallout 4, and then two games we're not even making. Wait, wait, wait. You got to go over the VR segment. All right, VR DLC. Now you can see go. in full 360 dimensions what you're fucking wasting your money on. Oh, oh well, Skyrim. Doom's fucking awesome. Doom it is, is cool, but they didn't even make the game. That's not made by them. They just published it. Same with Evil Within yes, and same with made, Wolfenstein. 
You could say Fair that for enough, the entire Microsoft the conference. conference. Yeah. Microsoft, yeah, we're, every... we're rating the conference, yeah. Andrew. So with <sighs> Doom VR and Wolfenstein, what's your score? It's still an F. Honestly, yeah. They had another like, game. They're, really? They're, they're sequels, wow. though. They didn't give me. I anything think they new. had the. They had the VR mouse game. Okay, that okay, okay. Cute. Kaya, Kaya, for real, honest rating, thinking it over, F plus. And the plus <laughs> is purely from Wolfenstein 2 because the trailer for that was really good. The Evil Within yeah, 2 really looked kind of interesting. That's what it was. It yes. Did, but, uh, yes, I was just. Oh, but the first uh, one yeah. was such a letdown, I can't give it points. It has yeah, to, like, that's redeem right. itself. You know what I mean? Yeah, that yeah. that's yeah. what looked good to me. was at least good. Let, let Charlie talk. I mean, the What's, trailer was extremely boring. Yeah, okay. Charlie, what do you say? I just said I was really excited for the Evil Within. It looked nice. Okay. okay yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'll give Evil Within a shot, but I'm holding out. But Wolfenstein was the only positive element. That was a really good trailer, and that game looks fun. Mm-hmm. But still, Can F, I stop F pretending plus. to be professional for a second and go take a piss? I'll be right back. Uh, we forgot about Anthem, I think. that Wasn't that Microsoft? Yeah. No, that was Ubisoft. Or, no, 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 it was, right. it was Microsoft. Microsoft. I'm yeah. bad. Microsoft. Yeah, I'm we bad. forgot to talk about their dreadful scripted gameplay. Oh, Jesus. Not the script, not the gameplay itself, but the actual demo being played by his yeah. bots, I guess. Uh, Kaya, we should talk about this later with Charlie. You could use the XP. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Anthem... What I did not know, what these guys, what the three of you had to point out to me was that apparently during these conventions, these companies will have people play their games rather than, I mean, they will have someone play the game, but it will be scripted. The gameplay, not the game itself or the gameplay, but the people playing it will be acting as though they're having fun playing it. And I had no idea. Well, I, I don't, th- I don't that think that's so the case. I think, that was- I think those voices were added in post. I believe. I don't think that. Yeah, I mean, either way, yeah, that's on yeah, the same it's shit. Still I, didn't know bad. It, I just did not know oh, it was yeah. a production. I didn't. Yeah. It wasn't just hey, here's here's two people just having fun playing our game. It was why on earth would they uh, do that? The e- equivalent of those old timey fitness ab machine commercials you'd see, where a really jacked Chad type would have chiseled abs, and he would be using the Abominator two thousands. You know what? It was and more. That, that's what they would be to? selling you. The fantasy of it. It was more harkening back to the division and the Rainbow Six Siege trailers, yeah. Where they they showed cool game footage and a lot of features, but then they decided to have such breathtaking moments as "Watch out, it's havoc!" Like, no, that's not how it's, people play their terrible. games. That's, that's not how not real people, people the, act. It's like it, it is the infomercials where the commercials that. where the fucking commercial is like, "Are you telling me that this whole thing costs only?" Twenty nine ninety nine, and I can order it yeah. with my Visa and or Mastercard. Like exactly, fuck oh off. god, like fuck I, off. I love my Abominator two thousand one month, and all the Stacys are flocking to me. I like how <laughs> Chad sounds was. more like Stacy. <laughs> but I mean, what was I saying? Fuck. <laughs> god damn it! Now got me on insults. Yeah or nay? Shit. The the acting. God, I was gonna make a point. Thanks, Andrew. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, that's just not how people sell when they play. Open any video game, it's not hey, Charlie needs the XP. See you on the other side, Jackson. Let's go. Let's kill them. I'm yeah, gonna leave. No it's, I wish China life was number like one. That. <laughs> I still, the voice chat in that game is gonna be China number one. I I wanna make an honest like trailer for a game and then have scripted dialogue, but have it be what I don't know, my fucking friends and I would actually talk like. Like have got one guy be like, Alright, there's four on there, don't aggro them. Okay, go in. Okay, use that. Alright, good. Like that like just have normal fucking conversations. No one talks like it's a goddamn child's first just, hike it, in the woods. That's that how I used to that's that how I used to treat Xbox do Live. When I was a kid, I would treat it just like Anthem. I, I think I've already told this story. On Halo 2, really? where I made everything As really tactical. Yeah. I guess. I was t- I Well, yeah, that. but you. Yeah. Well, it was on like Halo 2. I'd always communicate with my teammates trying to strategize because that's what the Xbox Live commercials and what I saw online I feel like you me. did this for a week and then stopped doing it. They need to it. use eight year old voices, not grown actors, professional voice actors on top of that. This is like if I made an indie game, right, in my own time in my bedroom and I was going to release it and I. <laughs> found some convention to show it off at or even maybe just my local high school and i set up a table with a computer and the kids come by they're like oh cool so you made this can i try and i go no i hired an actor to play it you just watch you know what he's having fun see he's smiling 
Kaya, you know what I just figured out? The perfect analogy for this shit? You remember those school assemblies where they'd bring everyone into the gymnasium and cram everyone in, and then some really loud, generic, like, rock beat would start playing, like, and some girl would jog in the front and be like, hey, how y'all feeling today? And no one would clap, and she'd be like, I'm Jennifer, and I'm here to teach you why drugs are, and then the music stops, no good. That's exactly what it's this more was. like the conference. That is exactly what this entire scripted player shit was. Uh, well, needless to say, the game itself is also boring looking. It looks okay. I no, think, no, I think, I think the game if, looks cool. I, I think, think it, it looks, looks cool. like The Division, but set on an alien planet. So if they can fix the grinding problem, I think it'd actually be fun to play. I think oh, it unique. looks more like Skyrim so with scripted gameplay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Are we going to go on about the Devolver debacle? Well, just keep going. We're, we're, we're up to Ubisoft now. I was Devolver Ubisoft. before or after Ubisoft. Watching Ubisoft? Oh, we didn't watch Ubisoft. I don't remember Ubisoft. No, we didn't watch it. You're right. We didn't right. stream it, but so I, I F- watched it. We yeah, I watched it. it. I think I'm pretty sure we all watched it in our own time. I yeah, mean, the only thing I good did. there was Beyond Good and Evil too. So who cares? Far Cry and, Five looks awesome. And Far Cry Five. Oh, that's what I meant. Did I say Far Cry Four? No, it's Far Cry Five. Did not have gameplay though. No, they did. Far Cry no, 5 they, was yeah, a gameplay did. trailer. It, it looks no, no, more no, no, or less no, the no, same no, as... Talking about Beyond oh, yeah, God, yeah, Good and Evil. Yeah. yeah. But then again, I don't count... See, I never count things at E3, E3 that have already been announced. So, like, the Far Cry 5 gameplay was cool, but we already knew it was coming out. So how how hype can you get for it? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. they're pretty hype. Yeah. I mean, gameplay reveal is still kind of big. Oh, actually... No, it, I love no, no, Far Cry. Wait, 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 I'm wait, excited wait, wait, for wait, wait. it. What? Wait, uh, transference, the Elijah Wood thing. Uh, that's that's oh, super interesting. Yeah, that, I think I mean I like that a lot too. I love I shit like that. I think that's creative. I love mind fuck. Just you have no idea what's going on. Stuff so much. I Actually, I want to see gameplay. That looks like something that's triple uh, A and also quite risky at the same time. It looks like um, what is that game that had a famous actor in it? In uh, uh Beyond Two Souls. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, that's actually what I was thinking of. Yes, I know it, it looks was. like that, but but uh, VR based, and I don't think Beyond Two Souls was terrible. It was pretty bad. Uh, William pretty, Defoe yeah, and it was, uh, Elijah it was, Wood. It was bad, yeah, but I think it had potential, is what I'm saying. Yeah, like I like the concept, not the execution. But speaking of famous actors, we skipped over Crackdown Three, which I would like to. Play. Oh, it's, well, oh, yeah, that that yeah. looked good. And I will openly, I will openly, honestly admit, ninety percent of it is because I want to play with Terry Crews. Oh, I just that, love the Crackdown series. I really and like it's also Crackdown. a good series. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Crackdown Two was pretty good. bad. I liked it. Really, it I liked Microsoft? both of them a lot. It was Microsoft. It's Microsoft. It is yeah. Crackdown's always been what Xbox exclusive. Score for it. What was our Microsoft score? I uh, gave it a C. We gave it all C's. Yeah, I gave it C plus. So, oh, yeah, oh well, wait. C, yeah. well, I know yeah. what we forgot. Uh, I gave Bethesda an F plus. What do you guys give it? I gave it a D. I like yeah. Evil Within. I'm giving it an F. I already forgot the game's F. Skyrim. All right, is all perfect. I can think about it, and that's an F minus. <laughs> it's right, moving on. What the fuck is even the point of having a conference if you're just going to show off the same fucking game six times? Because they why would they pay that much money? Skyrim. They had to make a little cartoon and make everyone oh, go. I don't regret of wasting. The fucking hypno toad, just Skyrim. <laughs> you love Skyrim. So, you Charlie, will buy you Skyrim. Devolver. Yeah. No, Devolver was quite the hoot. You loved and me, it. we were kind of skeptical. Andrew was having the time of his life. Oh my god, I loved it from start to finish. Best conference I've ever seen at E3. Jackson, I'm not being there? sarcastic. No, I, no. I watched it later on, but I wasn't there with you yeah. guys. God, that turned into like an Iron Man contest after the good, con- like the conference. I you thought know was that's good. not part of Devolver so, Digital, right? I know. I thought the conference was good, but yeah. right after, <laughs> here we go again. Right after we got caught in the pre-pre-show, and that was just unbearable. <laughs> what, yeah, what, what happened? Like, there? I didn't see for that. For those who might not have caught it, so Devolver had this instead of a conference, they decided to just have a gag where they went, "We don't actually have any games to announce, so fuck all of you. We're just gonna waste your time for twenty minutes watching this skid, which kind of got funny towards the last two minutes. But until then, well, it, it was a comedy. But after that, they had the pre-pre show, which apparently wasn't actually Devolver's deal. No, but it's it was their last E3. year too. It's E 3s doing, and it's also apparently written yeah. by some of the people on Adult Swim. It was oh, awful. Comedic genius at work. <laughs> Certainly. But what made it fun was that 
just around that time, Andrew got drunk enough where you go into that little self-doubting phase where you just think everything <laughs> and everyone hates you. And you started to cling to every little comment and think that... Yeah. It, I mean, every little letter in the chat in our Twitch stream chat led Aww. to an existential crisis on your end. <laughs> and Charlie and me just me. having... We were not making fun no one was no, making everyone fun in the chat was making fun of me. Andrew, you were hearing voices at some point. I think <laughs> at some point I said something like, I don't like chips, and you immediately went, I already apologized! <laughs> <laughs> Charlie I and was, me uh, had I no was pretty, idea I was pretty fucked what the fuck you were talking conference. about. I was pretty fucked, I'll openly admit. <laughs> but even without that, having, having rewatched the conference while sober... I think Devolver Digital's actual presentation was you fucking great. You watched it while sober? Yeah, I watched you it again. You to get mocked now. I thought it was Why? really funny. I'm not talking about the pre-pre-show. I'm talking about their conference. I thought it was really funny. I thought I it was a good really, con- I really liked it. I thought it was good. I enjoyed their conference. Not the I think pre-pre-show, it nailed though. Every, I think it nailed every single, like, parody and satire they could have E3. Like, unnecessary swearing and fake hype and everything. I, I thought it, it nailed it. I thought they got it. A nail on the head. I thought it was great. I don't know, but uh, plus. Like the day after, I was considering <laughs> maybe sending you a gift basket because I felt so bad for the mood you got yourself into. I was drinking. You can ignore me whenever I drink a lot. I it's, get it's difficult when someone you like goes, "I hate you guys. All hate me. Everyone hates me. I want to die. I'm gonna shut up." Now. Kaya, what happens is the more I drink, the more my inner personality comes out, and the real me you starts get to blossom. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. That's, that makes us sad. Keep them because because we're, like, move on. we're making we're making jokes, but you you get super real. I mean, you get legitimately super depressing and real. Well, and Charlie and I were just feeling bad, like we want to make jokes, but I don't want you to think we want you to kill yourself. Well, what do you want me to we, do? We made when a knock knock joke. When I pound eight shots over in just one hour, like what why do you, do you want? hate yourself? I don't, I don't know. know. There's no don't reason not to. Okie dokie. You're like the Hulk, but when you drink, you turn into the fucking little (laughs) sad man. The green sad man. (laughs) The green sad man. You turn into a blue Hulk, basically. Blue Hulk. (laughs) All right. Letter grade for Devolver's presentation. I give it an A minus. I give it a C plus. I give it a C. D minus. Only thing it would have gotten an A plus is if they at the end actually did announce games, like maybe did like a quick little oh by the way here's our games or something. Yeah, I mean, but uh, A minus, I I loved it, and everyone's gonna be like oh it wasn't funny, you're dumb Andrew, fuck off. I don't know. I, I thought <laughs> here it was here we go again. Funny. <laughs> yep, there it is. It just the, always with the comments, the no. chat, our Twitch chat. There was one guy and it was Nivius, fucking Nivius, who said shut up Andrew, and Andrew immediately went well the whole chat hates me. <laughs> I hate yeah, life. Hey, I getting around. In, my, in my in my perspective, it was hundreds of messages coming in every Aww. second. And if it cheers you up today, they talked about who the hottest one on the podcast it is, and the unanimous decision was you. When the fuck did this happen, and where? When we were, today, when yeah. Jax and I were streaming for six hours for some reason. Oh, they were talking about up it in and the chat. They, oh, yeah, everyone. Oh, maybe, you. Maybe Apparently I got. You're pretty pretty cute. Maybe I got to comb those logs. <laughs> <laughs> when Andrew's drinking, he hears like one thing. <laughs> just goes through six hours nah. of a VOD just to see I mean, a if, compliment. If, if we want to get into it, it's, it's an easy explanation because when I first started drinking, my absolute paranoia was, oh man, I don't want to be annoying because I'm already really loud and annoying. So I don't want to just be that guy who every time I drink, no one wants to hang out oh. with him. So I get self-conscious I think when that I would drink. Be more, that feeling would be stronger when you're... Uh, sober like with me but for me it's much i have that crippling fear when i'm sober like right now but when i'm drunk i go man whatever see i'm the opposite when i'm when i'm uh, normal i'm like i don't care i'm being me but when <laughs> but i, when I drink either way. I, get, I get really aware you're lovable either way andrew you're, you're lucky but for me it's <laughs> i my fear my phobia got reaffirmed <laughs> Because we, when we did the drunk podcast, the unanimous cacophony of unison the vo- in Concord, our entire fan audience was like, well, Kaya is bearable for the first time. Oh, man. I uh, I wouldn't say you that it's that. Well, you know, the, some people have that opinion, but I think you get giddy when you drink, and I think that's really entertaining. Mm. I, it's not a bad thing. You laugh a lot more when you drink. That's only a good thing. I have a good time. Yeah, I, no, yeah. I have a good time. When I Thanks, E3, for guys. this introspective moment. I, this <laughs> glimpse into our lives. This is my favorite conference. 
Yeah. Oh, man. A plus. <laughs> Zero out of ten for the games, but A plus for the revelations. The friendship is magic, yeah. No. All right, what was after Devolver? I think that's Nintendo, the last one. right, today? No, 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 no Sony. Ubisoft. Ubisoft, Ubisoft and Sony. Ubisoft and Sony, yeah. Sony. Ubisoft oh, and, Sony, right. and oh, then God. Nintendo. Yeah. Wait, did we watch Ubisoft? We, we, we watched Ubisoft on our own time. We streamed Sony, and we didn't watch Nintendo. I think Ubisoft probably did the best job, to be honest. If, like, we're grading on them actually showing Honestly, they products. were the most straightforward. They would just yeah. went, here's a game. All right, here's the next game. What did game. they even show? Anything interesting? Beyond, Beyond Good and Evil, Good and, Evil. and Far Cry. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. What, that's that. What came okay. before Beyond Good and Evil Two? There was another game that came that they were showing. Skyrim just before was that. getting ported to the Ubisoft machine. You got it, but <laughs> after that joke, it was what the happened? pirate pirate game, the Skull and Bones. That looked interesting. And, Skyrim on a pirate ship. And <laughs> Origins, obviously. No, there's one. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Talking about Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed looks absolutely horrible. It looks so fucking oh, boring and bland. That was Ubisoft? Yeah, it, yeah, was. it is. What are you talking was about? It? That's like their flagship right now. Well, yeah. They announced yeah. it at Microsoft as well, because Microsoft was announcing yeah. everything, even oh, shit okay, coming okay. out on the yeah, Game well, Boy. That, that makes Microsoft, sense, because I felt like I saw that. Microsoft showed the trailer, yeah. and then Ubisoft also showed the trailer, but then they followed it up it with looks gameplay. Horrible. It looks terrible. Absolutely it looks atrocious. Horrible. That series sucks. It, it, it's their flagship, but how they showed the gameplay was uh, they filmed a monitor. They didn't even the capture the gameplay. Game yeah, too. It's uh, not even good stealth. It's not good push A to dodge or even. Yeah. Like, I'm, uh, but uh, uh there's, there's like this the, hawk. The setting that's looks a prehistoric cool. drone. I like the setting. There was a no, game that there that I'm not remembering it that I was actually like, yeah, that looks cool. South Park. Oh, oh, oh! I'm gonna get a bunch of shit for this. Mario versus Mario and Rabbids. Oh I right, yeah, yeah. That was, I, I got to admit, I did not think it would be a turn-based RPG, and the gameplay actually looked like a lot of fun. It did look oh, cool. Turn, it's like speaking turn-based RPG, yeah. Final Fantasy fishing. Ooh, <laughs> big time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, Transference was Ubisoft. We both said that looks cool. Yeah, I, th- I think uh, we've gone over everything at Ubisoft. I'm going to give it Far a Far Cry Five. Yeah, I'm going to give it a B minus. Yeah. I'll give it a C. The only game I really am excited for is Beyond Good and Evil 2. I am also going to say B-. minus. Alright. Kyle? Which one is next? Uh, uh, Sony. Okay. Sony was next. Sony F-, minus see me after class. <laughs> Call your parents. <laughs> what did you not like? <laughs> Sony was pretty good too. And nothing. Uh, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. I don't Kaya, know if you Kaya, remember Kaya, the Kaya, stream. Kaya. It was dreadful. Taking, was the, taking the games out of the equation, yes, F-. minus. Their conference itself had some of the most okay, baffling games, yeah. fucking things. I'm gonna things. need a reminder of yeah. the games. Okay, I can't think of over. any of the games they what showed either, it? Andrew. God of War. I don't, God of yeah. War. Okay, God that's not bad. Okay. Shadow of the Colossus. Day nah, is gone. Fuck off. That's a that's a Skyrim thing though. I, no. <laughs> but it see yeah. the year Skyrim came out, it was a fun game. So it was Shadow of the Colossus, but ten versions into it. No, not anymore. You don't get to cheat like this that. This is the Depends. second if they, remastering. If they put in a, yeah, if they put in a lot This is the second remastering. If, Just fuck off. If they put in cut content, that'd be cool. There's no content that they put in it. It's cut just, content. What from like a secret vault? Alright, I got the years I got ago. the they, they cut here. like they cut like twenty colossi from the game before launch. Well, not before launch, but at various did he stages. hear this? Some mythical Mythbusters? He form? heard it from the Colossus. <laughs> Easter egg. From the Dark right, right. content. I got the list of uh I got the list of games because Sony I think had the most like standout shit. So uh Uncharted, Lost Legacy, which Ugh. is uh ca- Cave Explorer the game, Ugh. figuratively and literally. I like it. I hate Uncharted. It looks, it's my it looks guilty whatever. Pleasure. So uh, let's 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 let Charlie loose on Uncharted for a second here, but before you do, he did though early in the podcast. Generic. I've already, I, did you? I've already talked yeah, about already it. I just find it. it to be the most repetitive no, okay. and uninteresting games. Horizon, uh, Horizon expansion. With who cares? Uh, Days Gone looks fucking incredibly bad. I'm baffled at why people are excited for Which it. One? The, the zombie, zombie one. generic zombie oh, five four seven. The right to hell. The, zombie, the, the yeah. game where people decide to ambush him on his motorbike, and after tripping him with a tripwire, <laughs> decide, all right, let's Don't punch him with our fists. You know, we couldn't get like a stick or a gun or something. Let's fight him. Fuck the fuck. Dane's gone. Everything I've seen about it looks so fucking bland. I hate it. Yeah, agreed. That did look. The awful. only cool thing was when they blew up the gate to attack the guys with the zombies, and I guarantee you that's scripted and only happens like once in the game. Fuck that game. Uh, Monster Hunter. I don't think any of us are Monster Hunter fans, so I mean that looked whatever. cool. No, not really. Uh, Shadow- yeah, it looked okay, but they had it, they had these epileptic editing of the video. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Sony had some technical problems. 
Uh, Shadow of the Colossus talked about Call of Duty World at War. No one cares. The the uh, Final Fantasy fishing game. <laughs> that was a highlight for me. <laughs> oh and, yeah. Oh, oh wait, no. There's a sub note here. Skyrim on VR. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the fucking Babadook. Uh, it's everywhere. It's God of War looks. Game. God of War looks good. I'm glad we saw pseudo gameplay. Like I don't think that was actual gameplay, but it looked like it. It uh, looks cool. Oh, looks Detroit. A lot more cinematic. Detroit, Detroit looks Detroit great. Detroit looked good. Detroit looks no. super great. I hope that. I hope uh. they pull it off. I feel like they're gonna fuck it up, but I hope they pull it off. Uh. Well, if they fuck it up, I'm, it'll I'm be excited. like the uh, Alpha Protocol game, which I want to play again. Oh yeah, Alpha Protocol. It's just gonna yeah. be another David Cage game. <clears throat> oh, it is by David Cage. Holy yeah. shit! I didn't know that. Wow, I didn't either. Holy fuck! That explains so much. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not really looking forward to that one. As 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 a person who acknowledges that Beyond Two Souls and uh, Indigo Prophecy suck, but actually has a soft spot for Heavy Rain, I'm willing to try Detroit. I, I I want it, and then lastly, Spider Man. I could not make heads or tails of the trailer. Spider Man, no going on. Spider Man, Spider Man. Spider Man. That was that was Spider Man. Clickbait brought me so high up to bring me slow so low down because they start with Batman style stealth gameplay, which I'm like, no, 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 you're wrong. No, you're wrong. They start with here is what everyone's been waiting for: oh, the yeah. gameplay that you've all been asking for, our flagship IP, something new that you've all been appreciated. Yeah, and everyone's thinking, of course, oh, Last of Us Two, Death Stranding. What, what could this be? And then Spider Man. <laughs> so, but like for me, everyone for, thought it was just a joke. It was a nice See, Rick the, roll. The, I mean, the trailer starts with the Batman Arkham stealth gameplay and fighting, and I'm like, yes, I'm sold. Arkham makes my dick so hard. This could be fucking awesome if it's just Spider-Man with Arkham gameplay, throwing some web swinging, and I will buy this immediately. And then we got the scripted action sequence, and then we got all the quick time events in the world, and then most fucking offensive of all, we got Miles. Fuck you, Miles. You're a bad character. Miles? No one likes you. The, the new Spider-Man. Oh, oh, Fuck yeah, the, the line of new diverse. Fuck I don't him. know. I, I, I thought you were just kidding. When they, no, no, he's not wrong. All of uh, Marvel comic books, they're trying, they're retiring all the old heroes and giving yeah. it to like a bunch of different people that it just came out of nowhere yeah. to just take you, up the mantle. Yeah. This up? I yeah. wasn't kidding and I, I wasn't thought, trying to start shit when I yeah, said it. They're ruining their comic series for no reason. They are. They even had to admit that they are not yeah. selling as many as they used to and that the, the readers are not that yeah. much into it and they also turns out don't know you... why like fuck off well they I blame mean, it, it just, on comic books you, in general they, they, they blame it no, on comic books DC style. is doing fine when has you're talking over they, each other they're always gonna blame the readers oh my I mean, god be, when has any company ever taken uh, the responsibility for them failing they're always gonna shift the blame onto the readers or something but they could have pulled it off if they did it nicely instead it felt contrived when it's all forced. of a sudden all of the it's fan favorite forced. comic books Rather than at least give them their own franchises, why not just make a new Spider-Man friend? Just make him his friend instead of the new Spider-Man or the new Iron Man. Also, oh. just remembered, but I don't I don't remember what conference it was at. The new game from the studio from Until Dawn. The Inpatient, I think? Yeah, that was also Sony. That, I thought that, that looks cool. interesting. I'm, yeah. I'm hyped for that. That looks cool. I forgot. Oh, was, so I really like Until Sanitarium. Dawn. I I don't remember what they made. They made like one other important game besides Until Dawn. But oh, they I, made that like VR game, the roller coaster VR game, didn't they? Is that super massive? I, Is that right? I'm gonna look at it. They made one other. Yeah, yeah, super big massive games. Game. They they made the Ride to Dawn VR game. That Ride to like Dawn. Right, right. Is it Ride to Dawn? Right. Uh, oh, Little Big Planet downloadable content kills on HD. And until dawn are the big three they did. Oh fuck! They're ma- they're the ones making Bravo Team, the VR shooter. I they're making they're making a lot cool. of VR games. Even the Impatience VR. Yeah, so they're making three games now. They're making Hidden Agenda, which is a phone game, and on PS4, uh, which I'm guessing is going to be like their Until Dawn esque thing. And they're making the Impatient and Bravo Team, which are on VR. So yeah, I'm 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 excited for those. I think those look neat. I like their games. Yeah, and uh, I think that's all for Sony. There? I think that's everything. Yeah, I'll give it a C. Yeah, I'll give it a C. That's really C plus for me. Mm. <sighs> 
I'm going to I'm going to roll B B middle B. Jesus, you guys are generous. It's legitimately F minus and you die in a school shooting. What? Oof. How did you not That's like a single thing they made? Not well, even presented. gone to war. It looks good, but the conference itself could not have been worse. Well, Kai is not a fan of Less AAA games. He uh, prefers uh, more like Kai watches E3 for the conferences, nah, not I mean, the games. <laughs> no, the games. The stage wasn't up to my one, standards. One game that <laughs> one game that could be meh is not gonna salvage the god awful two hours, almost what felt like two hours that I had to sit through. No, but uh, I'm just right. saying in general, Kaya's, by far my Kaya's preference is not AAA games. There's very few AAA games Kaya enjoys and or plays. I I'll grant you that. that. I mean, I don't really... It's not something I paid attention to, but I. that's true. I love indie games. I love the little man. Kaya, Kaya's like that with everything, though. Like with Hollywood... Even music, probably. Not true. I like big Hollywood. No, Kaya, I, I, I would argue the opposite. Kaya doesn't like low-budget movies. Really? <laughs> He's always yeah. speaking I, out against the I mean, it the depends on what it is. I don't know. I think we're overanalyzing his taste. You're confusing me. <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot of confusing me with not liking stuff with that cheap excuse people have. Like, oh, you're just a hipster. You hate everything. Oh, I contrary. was just saying it's, it's very true that Kaya just doesn't like AAA games. They're just not interesting to me. I think indie people, they legitimately are always more unique. Yeah. Most of the I can give that. innovations yeah. that come from those guys, they because like we said earlier, they are able to take more risk and they, those are usually the ones with more passion well, when you hear them talk like the, uh, a way out, you know how immediately all of us realized that was the only guy on, on that day on that stage who actually give, gave a shit about the game he was talking about was the guy who worked on yeah. it. Even if they weren't necessarily indie, there was still a smaller studio. Well, the, so, yeah, the, I, the I, dude, I just, I don't know. The dude who came out and announced beyond good and evil too shed a tear. Oh, you that guy really was super sincere. It. Yeah, that. I mean, he made me really uncomfortable, but yeah, he was really sincere. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that, that's that's a triple A game. I don't know. I mean, it's not really a triple A game. That's, that's a, something I, that's been I, in the basement I don't for have fifteen years. Against, it's triple A games. I just that, the vast majority are just boring to me. <laughs> that that trailer alone got more funding than the fucking <laughs> most of the indie games. Oh hell yeah! That trailer was dope though. Are you yeah, kidding? It was. Yeah. That was that was a fantastic Whatever trailer. Whatever intern is managing the AAA Twitter titles is probably getting more of a salary than the last night will ever make. But uh, Nintendo, we kind of... I don't think anyone of us of watched it. it. I didn't watch any of it. Yeah, I didn't watch it. Yeah. I saw a little bit of gameplay of... So I have a, I have a game list if you want to run down the, it just real quick. The new Mario game that takes place in the real world for some oh, reason. Oh man, where you have to fight people I'm, I'm like so, businessmen for I'm some so reason. I'm so hyped for that. Is I'm that so Super Mario Odyssey? Really excited for it. Is that Odyssey? Yeah, Super Mario. Yeah, they it should be looks like it kind of looks like 64. That's what it is. It's in the Great. same. It's in the same line of games. 64, Super Mario Sunshine, Galaxy, Galaxy Two. I'm excited for it. Perfect. 100. Uh, like yes, absolutely. Mod. On board. So you, you're going to get a Switch, Charlie? I'll get it just for that. To be honest, yeah. Uh, hopefully the switch prices I'm gonna will go get down it for, get it for that. I'm going to get it for that in Breath of the Wild right now. I, I really do want to play Breath of the Wild. I've just been waiting for more games to come out for the Switch first. Yeah, that's a, well, well now you, you got it now. Yeah. Well, you can always have a Switch, Jackson, or a, a Wii U like I do, Jackson, and get it for that. My, <laughs> I'm so, I'm I right. love the Wii U. I love the Wii U so goddamn much. Why? I th I, they should have given it a chance. I think it's great. Ugh. I think it's horrible. Yeah, it is Dude, truly horrible. It's a console. I don't have to plug into my TV. I think that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, they, they really nailed it with Andrew. That's exactly yeah, what they wanted. No, they actually really did. I have it sitting on my floor in my room, and it's only hooked up to the power, and I just play it on the tablet. You said it was a it's, dance pad? I think it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I yeah. love it. I mean, I that's know. basically what the Switch is. Then, exactly. So like, the Switch is I, just the better I never version of it. owned any consoles. I was never into it. I think the only console category that i ever owned was the original 3ds but i also didn't think i would i could give l less of a shit about any of the th stuff the games or all right the consoles, let's let's quickly I run might actually the give though. it for i might get it for metroid prime oh let's i run, totally let's forgot run through about what that was one. Announced. Yeah. let's run through what was announced i quick. might there's not that much stuff all right xenoblade chronicles 2 does anyone care no, no. Nah. okay uh there's a new kirby game coming to the switch no nah. i think that's cool I like Kirby games. I, like, I think Kirby is adorable. Kirby, Kirby solid. Uh, there's a new Pokemon game coming to the Switch. It's yeah, they RPG. just it's not a the guy on the couch just said, yeah, yeah, we're working on it. It's in the pipeline. Yeah, well, it's it's not a spinoff. It's an actual like RPG. 
Yeah. Uh, Metroid Prime Four, which yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. Good shit. Yeah. I never beat the first one, and Metro- I regret that. Neither did I. I'm just, I'm gonna replay all of them. I'm gonna start with the fucking NES. Go games grab and other M, and then regret and your fight. choice. No, yeah, okay, I know about other M, but uh, skipping that. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's also Metroid Prime Federation Force on the 3DS, which <laughs> is is a abomination before god i think but i think federation the 2D Force. games are amazing and there's actually two uh metroid games coming up metroid prime 4 and samus I, returns uh, i didn't sorry. i didn't get to metroid that on samus the list returns. god damn it i'm sorry i'm better than your list andrew <laughs> but uh yeah federation Jeez, force was sensitive. to me the first inkling of nintendo where everyone just said what the fuck are you doing what is this yeah. this isn't I've even ha- remotely tied to your shit i've heard that was a bad game well, the uh, thing with Metroid is people have been asking this for this for years now yeah. for a Metroid game. And oh yeah, do you want to know? Actually, to be honest, I think that a fan game might have been the catalyst for this. You well, actually, that's that why they, it got the, the cease and desist. desist. Yeah, that's literally yeah, the yeah, reason exactly it got that. Where the reason? What? Wait. What so exactly the fan game was basically kind of a remake of Metroid Two, and it was heavily based yeah, off it was of an it. exact remake. Yeah, yeah, and it, it got the cease and desist letter because of this game, because Nintendo was doing it themselves. <laughs> no, they would have. They would have ceased and oh. desisted anyway <laughs> to yeah, protect their was, property. I didn't. Yeah, I think so too. But I, I thought maybe that they saw the game and they saw that even after the cease and desist, it got so many are, downloads are you illegally. Sure, the fan base loved it. Are you sure? And that they've tons. maybe decided. There's tons of Mario tons fan of games that don't get taken down. Uh, that's what, like, there's shitty F, Flash there's games? There's a shitload of them. No, like, based on the Super Mario World engine and shit, there's a ton of them. Really? Oh, yeah, that's there's a true. huge but, amount. But, Andrew, there's not that many Metroid fan games that have that quality, that are that good. I mean, it's yeah, not that's true. as big as a franchise as generic Mario copycat platformer. Mm-hmm. I, so I, just, I, I, I just know, know. What, whatever the reason I hope it's good because the one on the they're releasing for the DS is a side scrolling but it's 3D which I, it kind of sucks to be honest I, I would have hoped they would do a 2D Metroid mm-hmm. side scroller but still excited uh, okay Yoshi game is coming to the Switch and since Yoshi is the best Nintendo character that's good news mm. yeah uh, Breath of the Wild DLC that's fine it was a, as, long, as well as Amiibo little uh, Rocket League, who cares? Super Mario Odyssey, which, yes, and apparently Super Mario Odyssey has the theme song that's catchy as fuck. Is that, uh, is that in parentheses on the list? <laughs> yep, it says right yeah. here, Andrew, be sure to mention this. Does it have a score sheet? Can you hum it? No, but the YouTube, they've, there's YouTube rips of it. Now I listen to like the Actually, first two Now that I think of it, it, the Switch is perfect for Rocket League. It seems like it was it made is, yeah. for it, yeah. Anyway, Why continue. do you say that? It's just it. Honestly, it's any just game so would casual. be fun on that. It's just yeah. a good oh, yeah. tablet uh, with a controller. Uh, and then the last thing is the Metroid 3DS. Re, uh, yeah. I'll re- give that Robert's. conference a B. All right. Samus Returns, sort of a ham fisted title, but I'll still take it. Really? I, a B? I'm, I'm going to give it an A minus, honestly. There's a lot of good stuff. I didn't see it or anything, but the games that it, they announced are cool. Yeah. Everything shy yeah. of a Luigi's yeah. Mansion 3. They didn't. They didn't show shit though. They just announced it. Like, hey, like I said, I didn't see it. I'm just going off what games they announced. Yeah, well, that's like Microsoft yeah. could go out there and say that. Well, all right, Valve could go out there and say, yeah, Half Life. Jackson, I gotta be honest. In the to me, the conferences themselves usually only detract points. Like, it's I would much rather just oh, no, have no, no, no. I, I, no, I agree. Boom, boom, I agree. Trailer, I agree trailer, with trailer. that. Yeah, I agree with that. I wish they had have shown a trailer for Metroid Prime Four or whatever instead of they just, did. No, that, it was just a yeah. it was just a blank screen. It, it, it was a teaser with the title. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. It wasn't a trailer, but I mean, just for that alone, B plus, A minus maybe. <laughs> I mean, Since I haven't minus. seen the conference, if I had seen it, maybe yeah, I'd probably be much be a lower. Suicide out of it. 10, so but I'm going to not C-. counting. Not I just counting, love Metroid. Not counting Devolver Digital because that I don't think that really counts. Who won E3? Would you say? I would. I would say I'd, either Sony or Ubisoft for me. I gotta say Nintendo. Sony, yeah. I gotta go with Nintendo. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, Nintendo solely because I haven't seen it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the least offensive out of all of them. <laughs> yeah, Nintendo wins by default for Kaya. Yeah. Um, so which okay, 
That's sorry. I was just going to say Go Ubisoft because Beyond Good and Evil 2 is the only game that I'm actually excited for. All the other ones are like cool and shit, but I'm not like yeah. super eager to play unlike Beyond Good and Evil 2. They they get a they get a close second purely for that because not only that the surprise factor of it yeah that, they really don't do that good. anymore like no no, no conferences really pull out a surprise they usually just say things that are already announced or we already know are coming that was nice oh, Metroid yeah. Metroid Prime Four was a bit of a surprise as well I think yeah That's it true. was after years and years of they're never going to give the fans what they want they just whip it out. That was two and games, come on. in fact. No, none of us were expecting yeah. Alex Hunt either, so <laughs> EA got in there too. Yes. Metroid Prime, Alex Hunters. <laughs> what a perfect way to oh, end, this, end this episode of the podcast. Yeah, yeah Alex Hunt. Well, hang on. I, I wanted to know what everyone's then final game list is that they want to see. Charlie yeah, okay, top three. Top Leon three, only? most hype. Give it up. Top three. <sighs> Just do your number one, Andrew. That's a little long. But I have like two. Well, say two. Right, top, say two. two. Right, top two. <laughs> See it. All right. Um, oh, okay, how about this? How about this? Your favorite, but only of new things, not things that we already knew was coming out. Yeah, Beyond Good and huh? Evil 2. I got a... New that's things. a close one, but I got to go with the Dragon Ball Fighter. It. I loved it. So I, uh, I can't I say Star say, Wars? You can say no. You cannot. Damn it! That's just no, bad we knew taste. that was coming. We knew that was coming out. It's got to be a new. Yeah, you had it on every launch. day marked on your calendar. Oh, I'm so excited! That brand new thing announced at E3. Top thing. For me, I is it cheating if I say Ori, the new Ori, because I don't know if no, they announced it. Not at all. That was no, yeah, no, that, that, was, that was it was surprise. It was leaked like two okay. hours before the conference, but yeah, that, that doesn't count. Well, all right. Well, yeah, I had no, no idea. I'm so talking Ori official and, announcements. Uh, yeah. Uh I knew about the Life is Strange prequel, so not that, but Metroid, I guess? New? Okay. Yeah, Metroid. Jackson? Oh, fuck me. Um, I guess I'll go with... There's no fuck me game, Jackson. <laughs> I guess I'll go with The Last Night, I guess. That's a good choice, That still. works. That would be my number three, besides... Uh, I, don't, I don't know, maybe... Uh, the girl high school drama game. Maybe Anthem? Uh I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was good. Oh, would you openly admit that? All right. Let's oh, wrap it up. An hour All right. And we got to head out, guys. God Charlie damn. needs more XP. But for real, Battlefront 2. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of the official podcast. Uh, the, uh, E3 sponsored us. Yay. Yay. See you all next time. Don't forget about the shirt and see you on the other side. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, everyone. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Wait, uh, later. <laughs>